As you know, we both work full time from the road in our RV. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how we built two dedicated ergonomic workspaces. Without using the dining table. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. This is my RV office. These are pull-out laptop tray in the dash that most people would use to work with their laptop, but I actually use this as a keyboard and mouse tray that slides back and forth, but it actually does lock into position. And over here, I've got a dual monitor set up where I have my laptop on a laptop stand and an external monitor. So really great for doing video editing, having emails up or doing web surfing on one screen and doing something bigger like video or photo editing on the second bigger screen. Now, when I first started out, had my computer up here and it was moving back and forth all the time and it kind of wasn't very comfortable for me I wanted a different I wanted more depth in between me and the computer so Mark was very clever what Mark did here is he built a little wooden shelf that just goes across this keyboard tray so that it keeps my laptop and the monitor stationary and the laptop tray pulls out underneath and the seat is adjustable which is great so I can get myself as close or as far from my computers as I want and of course I can also move this wherever I like so it's really easy to get it positioned exactly where I like it to be comfortable to work so under here is where I keep a few stationary items like pens and thumb drives and that kind of a thing but it's really great because I can just close it to cover everything up now, of course, when we're driving, all of this is packed away and all I use is my laptop on the laptop tray the way it's designed to. So it works really great whether we are stationary or driving. So I've got a wireless keyboard, wireless mouse, and just recently got a really great set of Bluetooth headphones. So that makes it really easy for me to be listening to music or mostly video editing without Mark having to hear while I'm working away. So these are nice and lightweight, which I really like, so I don't get a headache while I'm wearing them. A set of really great headphones is something we recommend for everyone that lives in an RV because it gives you your own space and contains your noise. And I love these. I'll put a link to them down below. And of course, as you can see, we're here in a campground at the moment, and it's actually one that has a lot of park models, so it's not the most scenic view, but there are a lot of times when I get a really amazing panoramic view right outside of the RV window here, and I uh, have to say, it's pretty hard to beat. So a couple of other things I want to point out here about our RV office. So Mark has built a, a little wooden box here to make use of this floor area in front of my feet because I am short and I need something to rest my feet on, but it has a hinged lid. So I can use it for storage. I usually keep some shoes and miscellaneous things in there, but it also doubles as a footrest while I'm working, which is awesome. And as a step stool when I need to get up into these higher cupboards. Makes it easy to reach. So it stays out of the way, but it's really practical and handy and makes optimal use of this space in front of the passenger seat. May not work as well if you're tall and you have long legs, but if you're short like me and you have space, then it's a really great way to utilize that extra little corner here. Okay, so here we are in my office. This is probably the biggest modification we did to our RV and we actually made this modification before we even hit the road. We had planned this modification before we even bought the motorhome. Part of why this RV was so good for this is because a lot of bunkhouse models have a 28 inch wide bunk and this one's 30 inches and that two inches can make a big difference when you have a chair that has arms and you're trying to rotate it. So that was a big factor. But originally this bunkhouse would have had a second bunk here on these rails, so right around the same height as the desk. This desktop is a very simple desktop. It turned out to be just the right height. Drilled a hole in the back to let the cords run in. These shelves above and below the desk were already existing. And then I installed a keyboard tray for my keyboard and mouse so that I actually have fantastic ergonomics in this office. Being a massage therapist and also having a back condition, having great ergonomics was really important to me and so that's why this office had to be something that was set up so well ergonomically. I have a really nice ergonomic chair and then I have a keyboard tray that has my 
keyboard and mouse again at the exact right positioning for my hands. But with that I have a nice foot support that I can rest my feet on during the day and move them and this is a really good thing for helping your back. Alright, so you can see I've got really excellent ergonomics in this office. My computer screen's right at eye level. My hands are at the just right level for my keyboard and mouse. My feet have a nice support and I have a very supportive chair. So really dialed this in. Alright, you can see here we have a lightweight printer. This is an inkjet printer. We specifically sought out this unit because it's lightweight and it's a compact size. Fits here well. These shelves were already built in, which made this conversion super easy. And it even had the outlets that we can plug our computers into. So that was a really nice feature. One final point on that, the printer is actually just stored here. It's not used here uh, because we hardly ever print. And so when we do print, we just take it out of there, hook it up to the computer, maybe with the extra table from the dining room so it's at a similar level and you print all the things you want all at once and put it back in storage. Another thing that makes this such a great office space is there's drawers built in right underneath the floor that have tons of space and they pull out really deep so I can put a lot of stuff in them. So we keep the paper for the printer, extra ink, and any other stationary items. A really important feature to this office that I never had in my home office is it has a view. Similar to Julie, the view is not as inspiring right now as it has been at other times, but this view can change very frequently and can be some really amazing things. Another really great feature about this office is that when I'm done with the office for the day, close it right up. But usually I'm on the other side of the curtain. We did a complete video about this bunkhouse to office conversion. It was actually one of our earliest videos. We'll be sure to link to that in the description below. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video about our RV offices and that you got some great ideas and inspiration for how you can create a really great, productive and comfortable workspace in your RV or even in your home. So if you have any questions, pop them down in the comments below. We'd really love to answer them for you. Uh, maybe you've got some great ideas and tips for how to set up an office space. What do you do in your RV? Let us know. We'd love to hear about it. And I'm sure so would everyone else watching this video. We also have another video we just produced that's gonna talk about a lot of the other modifications we made to the RV so be sure to check that one out as well. We'll put the links down in the description below. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Love to hear from you guys as always. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos in our RV organization and tips series here and until next time we'll see, see you on, on the road. road.